of Tennessee football begins with the tradition of fans from all parts of the Southland. This the ramp to the South Stand. This outside, east, north, south, west. People from all walks of life who are part of Big Orange Country. And this is Tennessee at Mississippi at Neyland Stadium in Knoxville. As over 90,000 fans will be on hand to see the game. Tradition of Tennessee football, the pride of the Southland band with its pregame performance. The band directed by Dr. Jay Julian in his 21st year as director of one of the nation's finest collegiate bands. It's a gorgeous day for football at Knoxville on this November afternoon. Tradition of Tennessee football. Perhaps this, the magic moment, as it's football time in Tennessee. The volunteers racing through the T formed by the band, and there you see from the end zone, the perspective from every angle. Tradition of Tennessee football. The captains, meeting in the center of the field with their counterparts from Ole Miss. 34 is James Berry. 80, Mike Cofer, tight end. 84, Brian Ingram from Memphis, who will not play in this game today. He's out with an injury. That's Malvin Gibson of Mississippi. Referee Cook, the toss of the coin. And Mississippi wins the toss. The Rebels elect to receive, and Tennessee will defend the South goal. And it's football time as the ball by Fouad Reves is kicked. There you see about five yards deep in the end zone where it is down by Gibson. And Ole Miss with John Forcade, number one at quarterback, goes on offense. First down, 10 to go at the 20. Tennessee lines up in a five-man front. There you see from the sideline the way it looks. This is Thomas. Big hole left side. Cracking through the middle. Comes racing forward. What a first down. A second look at this first play, first down run by Thomas. He moves the ball out to the 32-yard line, at which point it's going to be first down and 10 to go for Ole Miss. Game just getting underway. The Rebels in white, Tennessee in orange jerseys into a four-man front. Orcade. Thomas counter, another hole. Here he comes, dancing forward for another first down. A second look now from the sideline. Andre Thomas moving this time for a gain of right at 13 yards. And it's going to be first down and 10 to go. Nothing to nothing. Mississippi with 4K. Running backs are split. Thomas, third try. Again running, past midfield, out of the 45. Shoved out of bounds as he moves to the 41-yard line of Tennessee. And it will be another first down for the Rebels. So Thomas, in three slashing runs, has moved the ball from the Ole Miss 20 to the Tennessee 41. Forcade stumbling, makes the pitch with the ball. Gibson, oh, he's upended on a fine defensive maneuver by Lee Jenkins, the cornerback for Tennessee from Atlanta. Lee Jenkins making the stop after a gain right at two yards on the play. And Mississippi lines up again. Tennessee with its linebackers now Burns and Mike Kofer as Lamont Holt Jeffers is out with an injury in this game. Defensive end, Brian Ingram out as we mentioned. Carrying the ball, nice defensive play. Cutting through initially was number 48, that's Burns. As carrying the ball was Thomas for a gain of a yard. Third down five. Mississippi nothing, Tennessee nothing. Mississippi's 4K. Back to throw. Looking, being pressured. Pass downfield, incomplete. Defending Darrell Harper. The intended receiver was the tight end, and it was Walker, incomplete, so it's fourth down. That's Willie Galt for Tennessee, backing up, anticipating the punt, as Graham will be the man booting. Barefooted punter, skies it high. Mississippi racing downfield, wanting to down the ball, and it takes, and Mississippi just barely misses downing the ball. 
inside the five yard line. It goes into the end zone. And on the touchback, it will be Tennessee first down and 10 to go. Quarterback for the Volunteers will be senior Steve Alatori from Cypress, California. Alatori's pass complete. This is James Berry, the tailback from Natchez, Mississippi, who rambles forward for a first down. Alatori spinning out to the left. Here's the pass, and coming underneath, that's Berry. Nice move by Berry. And the senior carries the ball forward for a first down and 10 to go. 44 for Tennessee is Tolls, 34 is Berry, 16 is Alatori. Berry, left side, cuts back, spins, picks up yardage. Initially stopped at the line of scrimmage, he twists off and carries the ball on for a gain on the play of right at uh, six yards. Now this is Alvin Tolls, and Tolls comes crashing up the middle as the freshman. Moves for what appears to be a first down. We'll see. This is Tolls spinning, turning, ramming the ball forward. And Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go at the 46-yard line of the Volunteers. First down situation as Alatori takes a straight drop to throw. Looking. The pass across the middle is incomplete. There's a penalty marker. A penalty marker dropped as the pass was intended for Willie Golf slanting through the secondary and it will be pass interference so that's an automatic first down for the volunteers first and 10 at the Ole Miss 41 Alatori pitch Berry gets a block turns inside then good recovery and pursuit by Ole Miss throttles the tailback of Tennessee after the gain of six yards it's second down and four at the 35 yard line of the Rebels nothing and nothing is the score First period at Knoxville, 91,000 plus watching this game. Up the middle, this will be Doug Furness. Look at him grind and spin and pivot and drive the ball forward. And Tennessee will have another first down and 10 to go. It's down at the 27 yard line of Mississippi. Reverse, handoff with the ball golf coming to the near sideline. Nothing much happens and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's about all. A penalty marker is down on the play. A penalty flag is dropped. And we'll just wait until the official, it will be, as you see, illegal block, blocking from the rear, actually, against Tennessee, so the penalty is assessed, and the balls will have it. First down and 20. Alatori will run, cuts back, gets room. Here he, beautiful cut by Alatori, and he swings the ball forward for a gain of 12 yards. A second look from the end zone. Alatori looking, makes the decision, cuts. Nice move there to the inside. Carries the ball for 12 yards, and it will be for Tennessee, second down and eight. Of course, there was the penalty on the first down. So it's second down, eight yards to go for Tennessee. Ball resting now at the 26-yard line. Alatori wants to throw the football. Here's the pass. Complete Barry. Oh, what a shot. Great tackle by Armstrong. Alatori throwing to Barry, and then asking, oh, are you okay? Vicious smack. There's the throw, and there's Armstrong's tackle on Barry. You can see it jarred his helmet loose, and he reacts by knocking the bill cap off the official. Everything okay, and it's a pickup on the play. Tennessee, third down three. This is Furness. Cracking over left guard. Spins forward. The ball is marked, and it, from here, appears to be short. It is fourth down and right at a yard to go. In with the play from the sideline comes tight end Kenny Jones of Tennessee. That means the balls will set up with two tight ends in the situation. They're going to go for the first down. Fourth down, less than a yard to go. First period, nothing and nothing to score. Tennessee with Alatory at quarterback. The handoff and carrying the ball, Barry, and I don't know. He catapults over the right side of the line and is shoved back, and the officials say a measurement is needed. Momentum swing could be the play. It's stretched, and it is close. It is first down, 10 to go for Tennessee. Barely. First and 10 for the Volunteers at the 17-yard line. Tennessee lines up at the I formation against the five-man Ole Miss front. Strong side for Tennessee to the right. The give is to Tolls. He meanders over the right side of the line. Crunches the ball close to the 15-yard line for a pickup of two. 
Second down and eight. Tennessee at the Ole Miss 15. Score is nothing to nothing. Alatori passes up the pitch, carries over tackle on the option, and gets two more yards to the 13. Third and six for Tennessee. Alatori at quarterback brings his team to the line. The score is nothing to nothing. Ole Miss in a four-man front against the balls. Tennessee's Alatori. Skipping left. Pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee! Alatori to Anthony Hancock. A second look at this touchdown pass. Alatori rips the ball, and Hancock makes the catch for the score. Alatori to Hancock. And into the game to attempt the extra point will be number four, the freshman Fouad Raves, who just a week ago kicked through a field goal to give Tennessee its fifth victory of the year. The ball is five and three. Old Miss is now three, five, and one. The extra pot, a point is right through the uprights. And Tennessee leads Old Miss by a score of seven to nothing. Raves will be kicking off. He sent his first kick to open the game deep into the end zone. This one sends Gibson back right at nine yards deep. Again, it, it will be down, and it's first and 10 Ole Miss at its 20-yard line. John Forcade against Tennessee's four-man front. Hand off with the Thomas, nothing at all. Mark Studaway is there. Tackle from Memphis, Tennessee. Gain of a yard, second and nine. Oh, what a play! Handoff went to Thomas, and right there, penetrating was Leonard Jackson. A second look at this defensive gem. Jackson meets him. It's McGee actually carrying the ball, and Jackson blasts him for a loss. Third down 12. Leonard Jackson, a sophomore middle guard from Macon, Georgia. Mississippi trailing 7 to nothing. John Forcade looking over Tennessee's four-man front, now dropping the throw. He's in trouble, and he's sacked. Reggie White. Tennessee's defense comes alive, and then to punt the ball will be Graham. Graham punting from his end zone. Deep for Tennessee is golf. The punt is away. High, wobbly spiral. Golf backing up. Beautiful, beautiful punt. Pulled down by Willie Golf. Looks for a block. Cracks it open. Here's Golf on his way. 40. 25, 30, 25, 20, forced out of bounds, finally at the 17-yard line, Willie Gall. A second look at the speedster from Griffin, Georgia, Willie Gall breaks it there, and here he comes racing downfield, trying to set up his blockers. 25, 20, runs out of room, and out of bounds. But it's first and 10 for Tennessee. First and 10 for the Volunteers. The ball is spotted at the 17-yard line. Tennessee in the eye formation with Alatori at quarterback. Option, keeps, turns, 15, down to the 13-yard line. It will be for Tennessee, second down and seven yards to go. Alatori now, out to the left, pass, complete, very 10, 5, 4, 3, knocked down at the one-yard line. A second look at this first down pass deep in Ole Miss territory. Alatori swings the pass completed. With it is Barry, and Barry carries the ball down to the one. Tennessee will have the ball leading seven to nothing. It will be first down and goal at the one yard line. The tradition of Tennessee football. Fans of all ages. Okay, Tennessee with the ball. There's that power I set. Two tight ends and also a tight end as a blocking wing back. And this very touchdown, Big Iron. James Berry, senior from Natchez, Mississippi. Sending Tennessee ahead 13 to nothing. Rumsey will snap. Olszewski will hold. Raves will attempt the field goal. The kick is good. Tennessee 14, Mississippi nothing. Once more, Raves will be kicking off from the south to the north end of the football field. 
Gibson is deep along with Harmon. 29 Gibson, 25 Harmon. Number four, this will be Raves for the kick. Again, high and long, end over end, and it is taken seven or eight yards deep in the end zone. And it will be first and 10. Ole Miss, 4K, pitch with the ball. Gibson, Gibson is met by Jenkins and also helping out Burns and Bates. Picking up on the play, three or four yards. Carrying the ball, ball forward this time comes Gibson. For three more, it's gonna be third and about a yard and a half to go. Ole Miss has to move the ball past the 30 for the first down. The Rebels with it and with a first down as well. This time it's Humphrey who's come on at fullback who pounds over left guard and Ole Miss has the ball first and 10 at the bar at the Ole Miss 31 yard line. Ole Miss shifts its tight end from right to left. Forcade wants to throw the pass downfield complete. Fine leaping grab by Harmon. And it's a gain on the play of 13 yards, so it'll be first down and 10 to go for Ole Miss. With the ball, Gibson hit, fumbles the ball, rolling loosely, Tennessee's recovered the ball. A second look. The tackle by Kofer, the ball is free, and there's Lee Jenkins at Tennessee recovery. The ball's with the turnover, leading 14 to nothing as the first period comes to a close. Tennessee's defense has given the offense good field position with another turnover. And it's first down 10 at the 34-yard line. James Berry for Tennessee gets a little daylight. Saunders through for a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven at the 31-yard line. Alatori now out to throw on the option, pulls it down, cuts back, picks up yardage, moves the ball downfield. Close to a first down. A second look at the run by Alatori. The quarterback keeps. There he cuts, nice move. He's ripped down by Townsend after a gain of six and we third down and one to go. This will be James Berry piling into the right side of the line and we'll wait and see if he got the first down. It is first down, 10 to go for Tennessee. First and 10 for the Volunteers. Lining up deep in Ole Miss territory, Alvin Tolles, a little room. He noses the ball forward for a gain of the play of three yards, right over right guard, second down and seven. The pitch will come to Berry. Berry breaks a tackle, spins free, still on his feet, works his way deep into Ole Miss territory. James Berry carrying the ball down to the 11-yard line. A second look at the run by senior James Berry. Breaks a tackle there. Carries another man on down to the 11-yard line where Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. Alatori spinning to the left, could throw, instead will run. He's got the ball at the 10, moves the ball down to the 5 where he's tackled. A gain of six yards on the play by Alatori. Tennessee will have it, second down, four to go for the first down, five to go for the touchdown. Tight set five-man front. Mississippi with the ball pounding up the middle. This will be Alatori in the option keep. Moving it down deep into Ole Miss territory. It's got to be third down, one yard to go for the first down. This is James Berry hurtling. End zone, touchdown, Tennessee. Berry with his second touchdown. Tennessee leads by a score of 20 to nothing over Mississippi. Jeff Olszewski will be holding again as Raves comes on to attempt the extra point. Kicking now toward the south end of the football field. It's right between the uprights. Tennessee 21, Ole Miss nothing. The Vols will have Raves kicking off once more and here he comes and here's the kick. Again, it's high and it's long, and it's taken by Ole Miss in the end zone as the ball comes on through past the end line. So for the fourth time, Raves has kicked the ball into the end zone, and Mississippi puts the ball in play. First down and 10 after the touchback at its 20-yard line. 
Forcade against Tennessee's four-man front. Has his team aligned. Running backs are split. Thomas. Little room. Pounds forward to the 24 for a gain on the play of four yards. Maybe closer to five. Make it second down and five yards to go at the 25. That tight end shifts again. Tennessee reacts defensively. Forcade pitch. McGee, 30. McGee, 35. McGee carries to the 40. McGee to the 44-yard line. What a fine run of 19 yards by Buford McGee, and it's first down and 10 to go for Mississippi. Ball resting at the Rebel 44-yard line. Forcade looking to throw. Plenty of time. Pass is complete. Great catch and throw. Lamont Ho Jeffers has come on for the injured Mike Kofer, who went out with an ankle sprain, and Jeffers is playing injured. Was not expected to see service. Tennessee thin at the linebacking core, pressing Jeffers, the senior, into action. Give Thomas. Thomas cracks it through there and rambles down to the Tennessee 36 or 7 yard line. Ole Miss trailing 21 to nothing, moving with the football. Forcade pitches. Nice move by Forcade. Pitching out to McGee. Tennessee reacted very well. 92 is White, 47 is Jeffers, 83 is Holt. Gain on the play of three, second and seven. Forcade pass, beautifully thrown, caught, rolled down. As it's thrown to Harmon. And the ball is moved deeper into Tennessee territory near the 18-yard line. Forcade, busted play, being chased, racing toward the near sideline, and he's going to be hit and stopped. Carlton Peoples is there. Carlton Peoples makes the stop. It'll be second down, 10 yards to go. The ball at the Tennessee 18-yard line with Tennessee leading by a score of 21 to nothing. Forcade for the Rebels. Straight drop, looking to throw. Pass downfield is complete to Harmon. What a catch. Tennessee really with Lee Jenkins in good defensive position, actually. But Forcade drills it right at the shoe tops of the diving Harmon for the first down on the 13-yard gain. So Ole Miss. With the ball carrying it is McGee moving through the left side of the line from the five to the three. Second down goal. Mississippi trailing 21 to nothing. Strong side right. That's the way 4K goes. Cuts. He is stopped short of the goal line by a yard on the keeper. John 4K moves the ball to the one yard line. Mississippi trailing 21 to nothing. Tennessee jumping into its goal line defense. White and Kluge and Jackson and Wampler. The interior four. Forcade, third down goal. Running back split. Forcade, keeper turning, fights into the end zone. Touchdown for Ole Miss. Forcade scores and on to attempt the extra point will be Gatlin. There's the snap, it's down. The kick is blocked. Reggie White. So it's 21 to 6 as the extra point attempt is blocked and Robinson will be kicking off. 21 to 6 in favor of Tennessee. Here's the kick. Angling toward the near sideline and the ball goes out of bounds. So the option is Tennessee's take the ball there or accept a five yard penalty against Mississippi which Tennessee does. So the ball will be moved back to the 35 yard line. And once more, it will be Robinson trying to kick the ball away from Willie Galt. But Galt is over there, and he corrals the ball at the 10 to the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, stumbling 40. Carries the ball still with it as Willie Galt down to the 37-yard line of the Rebels of Mississippi. A second look as the kick is taken by Galt at the 10-yard line. 20. Here he runs through a tackle. Stumbling still on his feet, though. Gets a block. Moves the ball past midfield all the way down to the 37-yard line. Of the Rebels, Willie Galt. Already the record holder as far as kick returns is concerned at Tennessee. Improving his statistics. So the Volunteers leading now 21-6. Alatori with the team in the I formation. Long count. He's checking off at the line of scrimmage. Alatori gives to Furnace, and Furnace, the fullback, gains a yard or two. 
Two yards from the 36, actually, to the 34. Alatori will pass. It is deflected at the line of scrimmage by a leaping lineman. Fine play, Ole Miss. Otis is the man who got his hand to the ball. Again, Alatori back to throw. The pass is incomplete, way over the head of the intended receiver, Mike Miller. Tennessee with fourth down and eight will insert Fuad Raves, and he's going to be attempting a 51-yard field goal. He has kicked 152 this year. Slight angle. The kick is up, and you can watch it. It's going to wander off to the left as it hooks. No good. Now Ole Miss will get the ball back at the line of scrimmage there at the 34-yard line. So Tennessee's 21-6 lead. Threatened as back to throw 4K. The pass is incomplete. Pass was incomplete. It'll be second down and 10. 4K again. Pumps in trouble. Knocked down on the sack by Reggie White. A second look from the end zone. For Cade, there you see White fighting off and just horse collaring and rolling him down for the loss. Third and 17 after the sack by Reggie White, the sophomore from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ole Miss trailing 21 to 6, nearing the end of the first half of the football game. Back to throw will be for Cade. Pass across the middle is incomplete. It's trapped, perhaps juggled by Harmon, who had it for a moment. On the play, play illegal procedure against Mississippi is declined anyway. So another fourth down comes up, and into the game comes Graham. You can hear the murmur in the crowd as Willie Galt is deep for Tennessee. The snap and the punt. High spiral. Backing up Galt. Makes the catch. Looks for a block. Breaks one there. Gets running room 40. 45, 50 on his way. Cuts back across the green 40. He's on his way. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Willie Gold. A second look from the end zone. Gold getting the ball right here. He gets a couple blocks. Right there's Jackson. Now he picks up the convoy. 92 and 19. Out front, that's Harper, but Gold will simply outrun everybody in sight for the touchdown, Tennessee. Willie Galt. Greeted by his teammates. Coach Bill Pace. Now for the extra point. Olszewski will be holding. It will be attempted by Raves, and it is gone. Tennessee 28, Mississippi 6. Here's Raves again to kick off. The kicking game, and here is the end over end high soaring kick that will be down. Five straight times, Raves has put the ball in the end zone with no return on kickoffs. Ole Miss, 4K. Looking to throw. Long pass to the far side. Is complete. Great catch. That's Harmon. Shoved out of bounds by Jenkins, but it's a first down. 20-yard pass. Ole Miss trailing 28-6, to six, needing to get something on the board. 4K, play action, back to throw across the middle. The pass is deflected and intercepted. Tennessee by Burns. Tennessee with a pass interception. 4K has gone 104 passes without an interception. Then a deflection and Mark Burns alertly on the tip drill picks it up. There you see the deflection by Bates. There's the interception by Mark Burns. The first half comes to a close with Tennessee leading by a score of 28 to 6 over Mississippi. At halftime, the University of Tennessee Pride of the Southland Band joined by George Pizzas in a patriotic salute. The highlight being the singing of America the Beautiful.
Savage Beats Us, the Pride of the Southland Band, directed by Dr. J. Julian, and the Battle Hymn of the Republic. of the Southland Band with a stirring halftime performance. You saw the scoreboard. It's Tennessee leading, and Mississippi will be kicking off to begin the second half. It's 28 to 6 in favor of Tennessee. Southeastern Conference action, and here comes Robinson kicking the ball, and he squibs it downfield. Picked up on a skip and lost, and then Galt runs into the end zone and downs the ball in the end zone for the touchback. So Tennessee puts the ball in play. First down and 10 to go at its 20-yard line. Lee North, the quarterback, the center as the pitch from the quarterback goes to James Berry. He moves to the 20 to the 24 as he circles the left side of the line. Picks up four, second down, six. Tennessee 28, Ole Miss six. Tennessee with the football. The Volunteers in the I formation against a five-man front. Alatori pitch, Berry to the near side, and... Not much doing at all. A couple of yards to the 26. Hubbard, the linebacker, comes in the gap to make the stop. Third down four. Pitchberry to the near side and running through a block and forcing him out of bounds for a loss of a yard was Armstrong of Mississippi. And so Tennessee, unable to do anything, will have the ball. Fourth down and five. And here is Jimmy Colquitt on to punt. He's a freshman, his first punt in the football game. Averaging 44 and a half yards per punt. High spiral. He's knocked down. No flag. And there you see that this punt goes out of bounds by Colquitt. It's good for 59 yards with no return. Ole Miss now on offense. They trail 28 to 6. 4K for the Rebels. Option keeps. Turns. Gets the ball to the 20. On beyond to about the 22 yard line. It'll be second down and five yards to go. Forcade keeping up the middle, 25. He's got a first down to the 30, out of the way to the 35, and is stepping out of bounds near the 40-yard line. They'll mark it right there. A second look at this fine reaction by the senior quarterback, John Forcade. There's the move. 
Deceptive speed for the big man. Out of bounds he goes just at the 40-yard line. Mississippi trailing 28-6 in Ole Miss territory. First down, 10 to go. Pitch with the ball. This will be Gibson turning. He gets about five. 47 is Jeffers. 48 is Burns. 40 is Bates. In on the stop after the five-yard pickup, it will be second down and five yards to go. Forcade across the middle, complete. First down with the ball moving forward. This will be Thomas. Great effort by Thomas. Finally nailed by Daryl Harper, but it's another first down. So Ole Miss is moving with the ball at the Tennessee 41. Forcade looks to throw. Gets some pressure out of the pocket. Throws the ball. It is deflected. Intercepted. This time it's Mark Burns again. For Cade, who's been intercepted only three times all year. There you see, wandering, now throwing. There's the deflection, and there's the alert. Mark Thurn for his second interception of the game. After an exchange of possessions, we pick up the ball with Tennessee in control. First down and 10 to go at its 48-yard line. 28 to 6 remains the score. Alatori back to throw pass is complete with the ball Mike Miller at the 40 gives ground wanting to free himself and is shoved out of bounds Mike Miller for 12 yards and Tennessee will have it first down first and 10 for the Tennessee team at the Ole Miss 40 yard line 28 to 6 is the score in favor of the orange clad volunteers Steve Alatori handoff furnace furnace gets a little wedge through the right side of the line and he moves the ball for a gain of four yards. It will be second down and six at the 36. Ball in Ole Miss territory in Tennessee possession. Again, this is Furnace, and again he lumbers over right guard, powering the ball for three more. It's third down and three. Barry, through the left side of the line of the pitch, he's got a first down as he comes rambling forward for a gain of six yards on the play, and Tennessee leading 28 to six now has it first and 10 at the Ole Miss 27-yard line. Ole Miss in a five-man front. Alatory to pass. It is incomplete, swatted down by the alert Thomas Hubbard. Linebacker got in the flow of the pass. Alatory again throwing. It is incomplete. Gold had it, then lost it. So the pass intended for Gold is incomplete. It will be third down. Pass is thrown this time by Alatory. It's incomplete, intended for Barry, so it'll be fourth down. And into the game for Tennessee comes Fouad Raves to attempt a 44-yard field goal. Holding will be Olszewski. Tennessee leading 28 to 6. Snap down. The kick is up. It is blocked. It is blocked. Mississippi racing after the ball. It's carrying up near the midfield stripe, and it is picked up there by Forcade. It's a, a free ball. Forcade at the 40. 35 30. Forcade is out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Keith Forcade, younger brother of quarterback John Forcade. And he alertly picks up the free ball as nobody ever got control. Several players standing there looking at the ball, and Forcade alertly picks it up. So Mississippi back in the game. Forcade with it. This is John Forcade turning and running and gaining ground over right tackle. Forcade moves the ball for a gate on the play. Uh, right at seven yards. The ball rests, as you see, at the 17-yard line. Handoff this time goes to Gibson. Gibson through the right side of the line, got a yard. It'll be third down and two. Tennessee digging in defensively, leading 28 to six. Handoff left side with the ball. Humphrey, Humphrey is hit, fumbles the ball, and it is recovered by Tennessee. But perhaps the ball was dead. We'll just wait and see. A second look. The referee says the whistle had sounded. Let's listen. There you hear the whistle. But it's ruled that Ole Miss will retain possession. Ole Miss will have it, and it's first down and 10 to go for the Rebels. First and 10 for Ole Miss. As they line up inside Tennessee's 15-yard line. 4K, handoff. Humphrey to the five, into the end zone. Touchdown. 
A second look, ball at the 13-yard line. Give to Humphrey, breaks a tackle there at the 10, at the 5, into the end zone. Good running by Humphrey. And Mississippi has another touchdown. It's 28 to 12. The Rebels will go for two. For Cade, in trouble, throws the ball into the end zone. It is batted down. No good. The score remains Tennessee 28, Mississippi 12. The Rebels kicking off. Tennessee's lead is 16, but Ole Miss is picking up momentum in this game. Kick coming downfield. This will be golf. 5, 10, 15, 20. Gets out to the 25 yard line where he's tackled. On the play, a penalty marker down, and Tennessee is judged clipping. So the Vols have a penalty back down deep in Tennessee territory. Alatori for Tennessee at the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 24 yard line before he's tackled. A second look at this run by Alatori. As he moves it forward, takes quite a jolt, but he picks up the first down, and a critical one it is. Tennessee, first down, 10 to go at the 24-yard line of the Volunteers. Pitch to Barry. In trouble, gets two, three yards. Moving out to the 27. It'll be second down, seven yards to go for Tennessee. Score, 28 to 12. The Volunteers lead the Rebels. Alatoria again, winging right, throws the ball. Barry makes the catch at the 29 and fights out to the 31 or two. It will be short of the first down. You see right there by two and a half yards. Tennessee, Barry stops, slowed, fights, continues to move with the football, and he's got a first down. Barry, with second effort, moves for the first down. As the third period comes to a close, and we pick it up now in the fourth quarter with Tennessee still maintaining possession. And the Vols hand off this time to Tolls, and Tolls through left guard, booze for a gain of three. Barry again, catapulting forward. Looks to have a first down. And on the play, Ole Miss is offside, so it will be. First down and 10 to go for Tennessee. First and 10. As the balls are moving in Ole Miss territory, Tolls up the middle, wanders for three yards, maybe four, straight up from the 42 to the 46. It's second down and six yards to go after the four-yard pickup. Pitch will be buried. Slowed, runs through a tackle, spinning. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. Could have lost some yardage, however. Alatori in trouble, is knocked down for the loss. Good penetration by Otis. And there's a loss of five yards, so it's fourth down 11, and Cockwood comes on to punt for Tennessee. Jimmy Cockwood to punt for the Volunteers, who lead in the game 28 to 12. The snap, the punt away. High, Harmon waving and making a fair catch at the Mississippi 24-yard line. For Cade, at quarterback, his team trailing by 16. Two scores away. It's passed into the flat complete. Thomas to the 20, 25, 30, 35, 36 yard line. That'll be a first down, but on the play, Mississippi is judged clipping, wiping off the gain, and it becomes after the 15 yard penalty, first down and 12. Four Cage pass is complete. Great catch there by Harmon again, and it's Bates who finally drags him down after the gain on the play of 27 yards. Mississippi. Trailing but moving at midfield. 4K, 45, shoved out of bounds by Burns as he carries the ball to the 41-yard line. 4K, nine-yard gain, give. Here's the flip out to Gibson. Gibson in trouble behind the line of scrimmage, and it's Reggie White who slings him down for a loss. Loss of a yard, third down two. Ball at the 43. Fumble as the handoff goes to Thomas, and I think Forcade reached out to retain possession. That's the situation, and it will be first down. Ole Miss with the ball. Pass complete. Gibson, fine catch, thrown a little behind him. Rolled down by Burns, but Mississippi is moving with the football. Forcade again, back to throw. 
Here's the pass. It is complete. Harmon pulls it down in Mississippi. Straight down the field. That gain of 16 gives it first down and 10 at the 17. Mississippi with the ball. Tennessee into a five-man defensive front. Sneaking in with a blitz. 4K. Pass is complete. Beautiful, beautiful catch. Again, it's Harmon moving the ball for a gain of seven yards. Second down and three. 28 to 12 the score. 4K at quarterback. Deep in Tennessee territory. Coming to the near side. Handoff. And fighting through there is Tennessee's Terry actually to steal the ball of the handoff. Let's see what the decision's going to be. A second look for Cade, handing it off, and Terry gets right in the middle, and it is Terry with the football. But Ole Miss is judged to retain possession. As it's ruled, I assume the whistle had sounded. So Ole Miss holds on to the ball as 4K fades to throw being pressured by Burns the pass downfield is incomplete good penetration and pressure by Burns defending Terry and Bates Tennessee 28 Ole Miss 12 4K at the line back to throw is 4K here's the pressure here's the pass into the end zone incomplete and on the fourth down try Tennessee has withstood the Ole Miss surge and the balls go on offense Tennessee first down and 10 Pitch will be Barry moving the 14, gets to the 15, breaks the tackle to the 20, outside of the 25 to the 30. He's out to the 35, shoved out of bounds as he moves to the 35 yard line. A second look on the pitch to Barry. There he hurdles a player, 20, 25, out of bounds as he moves past the 35 yard line. And it will be for Tennessee first down and 10 to go, leading 28 to 12 in the fourth period of this game. The boss to the line. Coleman has come on a tailback replacing James Berry. Alatori, handoff. Coleman fumbles the ball and it's recovered by Mississippi. Mississippi recovers the fumbled handoff. So the Rebels are back deep in Tennessee territory. At the 33, John Forquet looking to throw. Pass is complete. Humphrey with the ball, 25. Down to the 22-yard line. It will be first down for the Rebels. Gain of 11 yards on the play. From the 33 to the 22, it's first down 10. 4K play action. Looking. Throws the ball. Complete. Pull down here again by Gibson. Change that. Harper is the man who makes the catch. Mississippi moving. Handoff goes. Ramming through the left side of the line and pounding forward. Comes Mississippi with Humphrey carrying the ball, and it's down to the nine-yard line. First and goal. Back to throw for Cade. Pass complete. Caught at the six-yard line by McGee, whose, whose knee was on the ground when he made the stop. 28 to 12, Mississippi with the ball. Tennessee digging in for Cade. Plenty of time, throws the ball, batted down incomplete. It was Bill Bates. Third down. 4K, passing, man wide open, touchdown, Mississippi, to Buford McGee. And Mississippi will go for two. 4K, back to throw, plenty of time again, across the middle, hits complete for the two-point conversion. And the score is 28 to 20, Tennessee leading. Ole Miss now lining up, Tennessee expecting the onside kick, of course. Another two-point converted touchdown could tie the game. Here, no, they're going to kick the ball long, and it's golf. There you see, pulling it down over his shoulder at the 5, 10, 15, moving the ball out to about the 18 or 19-yard line, where Tennessee will have it. First and 10. Ole Miss with a timeout left. Tennessee leading by eight points, needing to hold on to the football. This is Furness up the middle, and he pounds forward, blasted. But he gets on the play four yards. Clock is moving. Tennessee again. This is Furness. Furness for only a yard this time. It's third and five. Ole Miss wanting to get its hands on the ball again with a chance to tie. 28 to 20 the score. Tennessee lining up the eye formation. Big, big play on third down. Tennessee needs a first to maintain possession. Run out the clock. Pitch to Barry. Barry is stopped. No, he shows over the stiff arm. He turns the corner. He has a first down for Tennessee.
There'll be a measurement, but it appears to me to be enough for the first down, and it is. First down and 10 to go for Tennessee on the run by James Berry. Ole Miss has used its timeouts. Tennessee has the ball. Alatori probably will just fall on it to count the clock away. Alatori hovers over the ball, protected by Furness, and the fans count it down as Tennessee rolls up another victory. Tennessee wins by a score of 28 to 20. The balls are now six and three, five and zero oh at Knoxville. 28 to 20. Coach Majors talking to John Forquet, the quarterback of the Rebels. Steve Sloan, coach of the Rebels. Tennessee wins 28 to 20. Tennessee's defense came up with numerous big plays in the first half as the Volunteers jumped out to the lead. One of the guys responsible for a couple of those big plays, Bill Bates, covered a fumble, not deflected a couple of passes. One of those, Mark Burns picked off for an interception. Bill, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Uh, you know, it really shows a lot for this football team. We, uh, you know, the first half we came out really fighting and uh, we got, we jumped ahead of them. I think, you know, we came out the second half and, and Ole Miss fired up and they came out and they, they knew that they could they could move, move the football because they did a couple of times and we were real for, fortunate to come up with some big plays like we did. How do you rate 4K against the quarterbacks you played this season? He's the best? Well, you know, it's hard, it's hard to really tell who's the best. I think he's probably got the best arm because he throws it, he throws it off hard and he's, he, can, he can pinpoint his passes. We were real fortunate because he's only thrown three interceptions the whole year and we were real fortunate to come up with two interceptions. Like I said, he's, he's a top-notch quarterback and I expect him to go real high in the pros. But for the Tennessee defense's credit, you made the big hits and the big plays. Well, yes, we did come up with some big plays and that's, that was real important coming into the ball game. We knew that, that to stop them because they, they've got a real potent offense and the only way we can stop them is to come up with some big plays and we did. But uh, they really showed a lot of, lot of heart and a lot of, lot of class coming back down the field and, and trying to get it in the end zone. They were taking the game because, you know, we almost gave them a chance to win it, and it was, you know, it was real, real important for us to stop them. Tennessee offensive tackle Yanni Trapovnik's with us now. Yanni, first half, I thought Tennessee's offense, the line especially, might have played your best game. Well, uh, we're used to the 40 defense. Uh, we've played, all right, this is our third time this year, and we're well prepared, and we came off the ball, and we stuck with our blocks, and that's what it took, and that's how we, that's how we did, that's how we had a first good half. And the defense also gave you good field position. That's right. I, you know, there's nothing you can say about the defense except they're, they've helped us tremendously this year. And, uh, you know, you can't have a lot of, I uh, can't have a good game without good field position, and they, they gave it to us. Another Tennessee offensive lineman, Steve Knight. Steve, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much, bro. Tell us about the first half. How, why were you be able to move the ball so well? Well, it's just a thing, you know, Lee North, you know, senior leader, he got out there and told us he got to get something established, you know, and uh, we got the brace, got out there and got after him, you know, got, we had, knew we had to get our running game going first, and that's what we got out there and got done, and put some points on the board early. James Berry, Tolls, Furnace, all ran hard, that makes your job easier, doesn't it? It really does, you know, when they run hard, then we're going to come out with the ball that much harder, you know, because we know that they want it, you know. Linebacker, Mark Burns, Huntsville, Alabama, two interceptions in the game against Ole Miss, congratulations. Thank you. Mark, how did it happen? Just the old tip drill, right? Yeah, that's all it was, uh, just try to Go for the ball. Once you see it in the air, uh, great execution on uh, you know the defensive backs. They uh, they took the ball away from the intended receiver, and there it was laid out for me. And it was just whoever wanted it, I guess. And I was just lucky to be in the right place. Bill's got base got a hand on the first one, and it just sort of popped into your hand. And right, it was just you know like I said, it was just floating in there. And I was really lucky. I'm not even sure where the second one come from. It was just there. Did you have your sights set on the goal? Uh, well. No, I can't really say because it all happens so fast. All I remember is I just didn't want to, you know, give it back because I'm really not, you know, talented, you know, as far as carrying the ball. I've never been on that side of the scrimmage. I just knew that once I had it, I didn't want to give it back. And uh, like I say, they, even one of the, their managers came over on our sideline looking for the ball because I wasn't about to leave it on the field because I didn't know whose ball it was. Have you ever picked off two in a game in your life? No, I had one against Pittsburgh last year, you know, and I was really, you know, glad of that one. And I had a few in high school. But uh, I can't really remember if I had more than one, you know, back then. Uh, I think one was usually was the big thing for me, almost enough for a whole season, is, you know, one or something. But uh, I'm glad, you know, that I finally got two of them today. Willie Golf, one of the big factors in the game, first half. Your kick returning was outstanding, Willie. Well, thank you. You know, I, like I say, I just like to praise the Lord, first of all. And, you know, I just like to thank my teammates for letting me be able to do the things I did because without them, I don't think I would be able to do it. 
we've really been looking forward to this all year. And today was just that, that day. It was just a great day to do it. As a punt returner, when you see the things opening up, I guess it just makes your eyes widen. Right. The, 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 my first return, that was really surprising because they had went outside of coverage, and I just cut back up in there. But my second return, I really don't remember the touchdown. I don't remember it because the play prior to that one, I, I think I suffered a slight concussion in my head, and I really don't remember that play. The only thing I can remember is bumping into my own man, and after that, I came back to the sideline, and everybody was patting me on the back, and I said, well, what did I do? <laughs> they said, well, you returned the touchdown for kick out for punch for touchdown, and I, I was sort of dazed like this. I really didn't remember it. We're going to make James Berry's from Natchez, Mississippi with us. James, congratulations. It's near 100 yards today. Well, thank you. It was a couple of runs. I remember one especially, end of the game. It was third down and short. It looked like they had you. You buckled for the first down, and Tennessee went on, went on to win the game. Well, yes, you know, it was one of those plays where it just had to have it, you know, and it was one of those all-out things, either all or none, because we couldn't afford to let them have the ball back right then. The way the Tennessee tailback situation is now, it's pretty much just you back there. Did you feel any extra pressure today that you had to perform? Well, no, like I, like I said, you know, I, I'd rather be back, you know, and carrying, carrying some of the load and helping, helping the team out as much as I can, you know. That's, that's my job. That's what I love to do, you know, carrying the ball. Like you say, the ball is not heavy to me. <laughs> Last three weeks, it seems like you've run harder, though, than you have any time you've been here. Have you, have you been thinking about just the second effort more? Well, well, yes, we've been working on that. And mainly, you know, I'm healthier than I've been, and it really helped out, you know. And a lot of guys on the team that's encouraging me on, you know, to do well, and it helped, really helped out. That's some good blocking to the first half, especially. That's right. The guy was really surging off the ball and opened up the little gap and enabled me to run. Tennessee now with the win over Ole Miss heads to Lexington next week to face the Wildcats. This is Bob Kessling reporting from the Tennessee locker room.